Well, I guess you just want to go ahead and get it off your chest, you know. I don't know any girl in their right mind who would walk away from such a beautiful home. And you're obviously generous. Your generosity has gone above and beyond, and I've just barely met you. It's a nice box. And it's from my favorite store. You have good taste. <laughs> I'm beginning to think that this is one of those moments and you might be one of those people and we might just be very lucky Are you? I'm so sorry. Um, it seems that um, I might be a little bit lost. It's a little cold. <laughs> do you mind if I come in? I don't normally do this, but it's it's rather cold. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for your hospitality. I had no idea it was going to be this cold, and I never, I never stop in a stranger's house because, you know, it's a little dangerous for someone like me to do something like that. Why am I all dressed up? Well, I'm. <laughs> I was on my way to, I was on my way home from a, uh, from a party, a Christmas party. <laughs> you see, uh, I thought, <sighs> I thought I was going to get this big proposal. Yeah, but. Instead, he broke up with me. I guess you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> yeah, he broke up with me, but that's okay. Um, I knew it was gonna be a surprise no matter what. Do you mind if I take this off? No, I don't seem too upset. <laughs> I guess it just hasn't hit me yet. Actually, so surprised that I just came right out and said that that's what happened, but well, I guess you just want to go ahead and get it off your chest, you know. We, um, we had some good times, <laughs> but I should be grateful. He wasn't going anywhere with his life. Is this your house? I must say it's really nice. I'm gonna, can I put this down? Thanks. So I was at this big Christmas party that I go to every year and <laughs> all my girlfriends, they told me uh, I should dressed up because it's gonna be a big occasion. Well, it was a big occasion. And I just stormed out of there whenever he said we weren't gonna be together. And, and I really just wasn't paying attention and now I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I think maybe I'll just call a taxi or something. That might be my best interest. <laughs> well, thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll just... 
I, I, I just feel like I'm inconveniencing you, and I feel so embarrassed. <laughs> No, no, no. You're just so kind. I'm not used to all your kindness. So how long have you lived here? It's so nice. Oh, not that long. <laughs> yes, it was just down the street, actually. <sighs> I guess I'll take my hat off. Thank you so much for making that phone call for me. No, it's starting to storm outside. Okay, get this darn thing off. It's so complicated looking good when you're a lady. It's always awkward. Everything you put on is awkward. <sighs> I do like this hat though. Ma'am, I saw it in the store. We were walking by, eating ice cream. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you have this? I don't want it anymore. <sighs> I'm sorry. Your girlfriend broke up with you, too. Right before the holidays, wouldn't you just know it? What? Breakups always happen right at the holidays. Ugh. I would never do that to anybody. No. <laughs> How dare her do that to you? I mean, so much going for you. Look at this place. I don't know any girl in their right mind who would walk away from such a beautiful home. And you're obviously generous. Your generosity has gone above and beyond and I've just barely met you. Oh, that's unbelievable. Yes, we already have a lot in common now, don't we? <laughs> you gave her a gift. Did she keep it? Because if she had any sense, she wouldn't have kept it. That would have been rude. Taking advantage of your generosity like that. <laughs> I can have it. Want me to have? Oh, well, I I couldn't do that. Besides, it's some other girls. You don't care. Doesn't mean anything to you. I think I know exactly how that feels, actually. Thanks. Should I open it now? This is very thoughtful. You 
really don't have to. You're so kind. Well, I guess I'll open it up. To be honest, I really love bubble wrap. Could probably play with it all day. <laughs> She was such an artist when she designed this. She said she spent her summers in the Smoky Mountains, and it reminded her of the wildflowers that grew off the, on the ledges of the mountains. I visit the Smoky Mountains on vacation. It's 
one of my favorite places. And you know what? The funniest thing is, one of my favorite things about the Smokies is when I go visit in the spring and I see the wildflowers. Go visit the waterfalls. Dip my feet in the really cold water because the water there is so cold. That's beautiful. <laughs> My necklace? That's my grandmama's. That's my grandmama's necklace. I don't take it off for nobody. <laughs> I really like things that have meaning behind them. Some sort of nostalgia. Just like this. <laughs> That's a very thoughtful gift. thoughtful. You know, there is times and situations in life that are never going to be forgotten. I think maybe this might be one of those times where I might have just met a new friend. We might be just going through each other's sorrows, and we might just be exactly what we need right now to recover, rebuild, regroup. I guess that light on your front porch was my guiding light to a new direction. <laughs> I want to ask you though, it's kind of crazy, it's kind of crazy that like, when I look into your eyes I can kind of, I can feel the heartbreak because we feel in the same thing. It's almost like we're bonded before we bonded. Because I have so much pain that people have put us through. It's a very unique feeling. Sometimes people, sometimes things happen. No. I've always believed that everything in our life. Fine, but... 